Hello, this is Lynn Davis welcoming you to the latest edition of Rhonda Enterprise Video News. We begin today's programme by taking a look at an important event in the social calendar of the Rhonda Vach, the Morlais Gala Day, which this year celebrates its 10th anniversary. As ever, the festivities began with a fancy dress competition, with prizes awarded to the best dressed individual and the most original float. Obviously, a lot of hard work had gone into the planning of all the floats and costumes, so the judges, including the new mayor, Mr Gwyn Rees, had a great deal of difficulty in deciding who the prizes should go to. After judging had been completed, all the competitors and floats joined a procession led by the Newport BP Scout Band, which took the marchers on a grand tour of Ferndale, accompanied by some rousing tunes. There seemed to be plenty of fun about as the marchers made their merry way towards Darren Park. How about these two dancing snowmen in the middle of June? Darren Park once again made an impressive venue for the gala day and the Mall Ice Choir had done some excellent organisational work, ensuring that visitors who turned up for this year's event were not disappointed. And soon after the official opening, there were hundreds of people milling around the various attractions. The fire service brought along one of their rescue tenders, allowing youngsters to rise to the occasion. Almost every kind of taste was catered for, you could try your luck at winning the prize draw. Or buy a gift for somebody at one of the many craft stalls. One stall gave passers-by the chance to bat a rat. The idea being to hit a rat, which is attached to a piece of elastic, on the head using a hammer. It's not as cruel as it sounds, because the rat in question is only a dummy. There were plenty of anxious mothers waiting around this stall, where hundreds of young children were eagerly waiting to have their faces painted. Most mothers were happier seeing their children enjoying some of the more traditional forms of entertainment available. One of the day's main highlights was a flypass made by an RAF rescue helicopter which circle around Darren Park several times. But all good things must come to a close, and the gala day ended with an award ceremony, with prizes given to the winners of this year's More Life Superstars competition. The video news team also managed to visit another summer event, and this one proved to be popular amongst Midron the residents. The opening of this year's Mid Glamorgan Ambulance Service Open Day, held at Trialo Station, commenced with the arrival of a procession led by the band and drums of the Royal Regiment of Wales, who had marched all the way from Tonopandi Square. This year, the organisers had managed to assemble a wider variety of attractions than ever before, and the station was soon overflowing with visitors. Though people maintained a safe distance around the archery display organised by the Pentreff Bowman, worried no doubt that they might be required to assist any would-be William Tells.
The most popular and eye-catching display was provided by the Royal Navy, who offered visitors a chance to climb up a flank-bedecked tower and ride down in a bosun's chair. It's a lot less dangerous than it looks, and most people jumped at the opportunity. The stand organised by the ambulance service offered people a chance to learn some basic first aid techniques. And here we see the mayoress, Mrs Gwyn Rees, trying her hand at mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Though if it had been a real emergency, I'm sure she would have taken a chain off. Younger visitors too could imagine they were saving lives, thanks to the 1950s fire engine displayed by Ron the Fire Services. A display of the martial art known as Aikido drew an interested crowd. Although it may look like a violent version of cam dancing, it requires great skill and is a test of mental as opposed to physical strength. The day ended with some lively tunes provided by Triorki Comprehensive School Brass Band.